guys, how's it going? It's me, Megan, and I am back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but mostly Poshmark. And here on YouTube, I like to make reseller content. I'll do it still videos, I'll do unboxings, I'll do all that good stuff. So if that is something you guys are interested in, please make sure to like and subscribe, and that way you'll never miss one of my videos. So first of all, I apologize if the lighting's not so great today. It is pretty cloudy. It's been rainy the last few days so lighting has not been great so also taking photos has not been the easiest um but I did need to get this video filmed so that I could get all of my clothes put away and into inventory so I could continue to kind of like clean up my office just today I've been going through a lot of like old inventory and just a, like a lot of random stuff I plan on taking some stuff to I think it's a Plato's closet I don't know if it's a place closet or Buffalo Exchange, but I'm pretty sure it's a place closet. It's a little bit further away from me. That's the closest one. Um, and then just like donation stuff, I'll probably bring to Savers um, so I could get like a coupon for donating there. So in today's video, I'm actually going over a bins haul, another one um, that I did at the end of April, I think a couple weeks ago now, maybe April 26th. And I spent just over $80. I think I spent like $80 and some odd cents. Let's see, yeah, $80.48 on about 60 items. So I think a little bit less than $1.50 per item, which is great. I did have several items from this haul already sell that I don't have on me anymore. One was an Eileen Fisher Merino wool sweater if i see eileen fisher at the bins i tend to pick it up a lot i personally don't do super well with it but this piece actually sold within 24 hours which i was super happy about it sold for 45 dollars on poshmark so probably after fees i made 32 ish probably dollars i don't have it written down um and then i also found figs again which was amazing i found it the previous time and then I found it this time so hopefully I keep finding it that would be excellent but these were just kind of like a basic extra small straight leg really light gray pair of figs but in excellent condition they sold pretty quickly I had them listed higher like 35 I want to say but I think I sold them around 22 the listing should be up here um so again I probably made in like a little less than 20 bucks after fees on those then I sold this Aerosmith hoodie, which I did not expect to get very much for this. I just really liked the way it looked. And I picked up a lot of like sweatshirts this day just because I liked the ones I was finding. Um, and that's kind of why my weight was a lot heavier and I still ended up with about the same amount of items as I usually do. But comms were fantastic on this. I really thought I was gonna get like 15 bucks for it but I was okay with that because I thought it was cute. But comps were like $50, $60 and I was shocked. I still have no idea why. Um, I did see recently though that Aerosmith's going on like a farewell tour maybe. So maybe that's why, I don't know, but it sold very quickly and it sold for 50 and I had a shipping discount on it. So again, I probably made like $38 on it, I wanna say, which is fantastic. And one more item. So the last item I ended up selling was this Urban Outfitters velvet kimono poncho piece. I really like to pick up Urban Outfitters at the bins, specifically when it says Urban Outfitters and not really one of their diffusion lines, though I will tend to pick up those as well. Just the label Urban Outfitters tends to do a little bit better, um, but this sold really quickly. It sold for 20 and then after fees, I made 16 and yeah, <laughs> so I need to get this stuff put away, so I wanted to share it with you guys. And I'll start with the thing that was in my thumbnail, um, because I am obsessed, but also because I am going to keep this. So I am sorry if you really wanted it. I just could not part with it. It has no tags, no um, like material tags or anything. If they ever had one, they've been cut out. I don't know anything about this. I thought if I could Google image search it, something would have popped up, but nothing did. I don't know if it's vintage. I don't know if it's like cheapy or even expensive. It feels really nice and thick, but I've also felt like cheaper brands feel this nice. So I don't know. 
but it's a cute little Pooh Bear sweater. I don't know what this lady had to do, like who she had to fight off to get this sweater, but she literally just ended up tossing it back right in front of me and I grabbed it so fast and I was so excited and I still am. I love Winnie the Pooh. I have little Winnie the Pooh ears instead of Mickey Mouse ears that I wear to Disneyland. So this is definitely something I'll be wearing once it gets cooler out. And I'm gonna go into some stuff that I haven't quite listed yet. Um, but hopefully by the time this video comes out, they are listed. If not, sorry. If there's no like picture of a listing here, then they're not listed yet. Um, but they should be soon. Again, hopefully the lighting, the sun comes out and the lighting gets better. But I got this um, material, I guess. Um, this is the second time I've gotten material at the bins. The first time it was Pokemon and it's, I still have it. It hasn't sold yet, but I thought it was really cute. But this is Sesame Street Christmas and it actually says it's 2003 Sesame Street like right there um so yeah I thought I'd sell it <laughs> might not sell till the winter might not sell at all but I thought it was really cute and it's vintage technically it's 20 years old so I thought that was cool I want to save that from going to the landfill Here's a moth piece I haven't listed yet because it's really difficult to photograph because of the way it's structured. But moth is an anthropology brand. I actually do really well with moth, so I do like to pick it up, even if it is like an older style, especially at the bins, not necessarily always um, at a thrift store. But this is a linen blend. It's not the cutest, trendiest piece, but you know, it is linen anthropology. It's button front, again, like, not great to photograph because this is how it hangs so i'm still trying to see how i want to do that um but yeah otherwise in really good condition really really big again a size medium um so that i need to list here is just kind of like a baseball um we call them ringer tee it's from the brand 47 which i do like i've sold it a lot at <laughs> I used to work at college bookstores and we would sell it. Um, they make really nice soft things, but they also make it for like major league sports, Dodgers, LA. I think I need to depill this a little bit. Um, but yeah, I still need to list it. Um, but this is a Brandy Melville Henley top. This does have wear around the collar, as you can see. But I do like to pick up Brandy Melville and John Galt at the bins when I see it. I personally like to sell it myself, but even if it isn't a great piece, I would probably still pick it up because my Plato's Closet, the one I was talking about before, um, they I follow them on Instagram and they say that they love to sell Brandy Melville and John Galt. So even if you know I don't wanna sell it, I'll probably pick it up in the future to bring to them. Um, I am actually gonna send in a couple of really old John Galt Brandy Melville pieces that haven't sold for me and see, you know, if they take it in for how much. This is kind of like an unbranded Delta Pro weight extra large graphic tee. I just really liked it because it's very Western. It says Bridgeport, California, which I have no idea where that is. And then stuff about the American West. I just liked the style of it. Really love Western stuff. <laughs> and it is still really trendy. Next, I picked up this really cute Amber Crombie and Fitch Kids Sherpa hoodie. I'm really excited to sell this. Uh, Amber Crombie Kids, actually not Amber Crombie Fitch Kids, they call it Amber Crombie Kids, size 15, 16. Um, the issue with this it is a little bit matted and worn, but there actually is like a hole here in the sleeve. So I just need to stitch that up before I sell it, but that should be pretty easy. This is another thing I need to stitch up, but I really liked it. And I didn't realize it was um, needed to be stitched up a little bit when I got it. But it's this 1X Shein faux leather maxi dress. Really cute. Found the model photo for it. Pretty trendy still. Feels really nice. Um, it's always what I find so surprising about Shein stuff is that their stuff doesn't always feel like super cheapy. I mean, it feels like equivalent to something you might buy at Target for 30 bucks, but you'd buy it on their website for like 10, I don't know. But it has a slit back here and it is undone by like this much. So that just needs to get stitched back. Again, hopefully that'll be an easy fix. <laughs> and I picked up this jacket, I guess. I don't know what you'd call it, but it's really cute, really like retro. 
It's the brand Lux and it's a size small. Um, but I saw this tag and it's probably not gonna focus very well on it. I saw this tag and just the style of it reminded me of Anthropology. So I looked in at the RN number and it was Anthropology. It's the what? 66170, which technically covers Anthro and what is it? Free People and I think Urban Outfitters. Um, this is also 15% wool. This is definitely very Anthropology style. I love the way the sleeves look. I just haven't had a chance to list it yet. It's also a little bit itchy with it being wool, but still really cute. I've never heard of that brand from Anthropology, so I'm not expecting too much for it. But if I see Anthropology at the bins, I do get excited and I do pick it up. All right, this is a brand I really don't often um, pick up at all, but it's Aeropostale. This is says the resort shirt Aeropostale or Aeropostale size small it's a men's size small but i just fell in love with this pretty floral pattern again i found a model photo for it which is great if this is my husband's size i definitely would just kept it for him because i think it's absolutely adorable so appropriate for the season such a great you know going out shirt for like a date night or like vacation sorry if you hear voices in the background that's actually my husband on the phone so sorry I can't stop filming because I actually have something to do in a little bit. Um, so I need to get this finished, but this is a Nike. I love to get these kind of plain Nike hoodies. They have a name, but I can't remember right now. This one specifically is like a 3XL tall in men's. So I was hoping it would sell a little bit quicker than it has. And I don't think it's getting too much attention, um, but it is really cute. And I know that that's gonna sell soon. <laughs> Then I picked up this J. Crew size small, a little bit older. They have the dates on the inner tag, but it's 100% silk, navy, like cami. Uh, so I didn't have this listed for much, but you know, it's pretty nice that it's 100% silk and J. Crew is a pretty good bread and butter brand for me. So I went ahead and picked that up. Then I picked up this really cute like monster truck t-shirt. It's technically a kid size large and again, it's like a no name brand um but i listed it as a woman's medium like baby tee because i just think that this is so cute people still really love like the like nascar shirts and i think that this kind of fits into that category then i picked up this acdc just graphic tank top it's from the brand the vinyl icons and it's a size small but really oversized I don't think that brands anything, but people love band tees. I have my Elton John tee on as I wear a lot in these videos. Um, so again, just a little basic. This is also technically a like no name thing. I thought it was the brand Wranglers, but it just says Wranglers and it has a cute little cowboy graphic. So again, going along that Western theme, um, I thought someone might like the way it looks. It's a size small and again, not really a prominent brand. I swear everyone is testing my patience today. My husband's on a phone call. My cat is freaking out and all the baby downstairs is crying. <laughs> Nobody wants me to film this but I'm trying to get through it. Um, this is the brand Comfort Colors which one of you guys mentioned um, actually does well when it's a life is good t-shirt but this is a Bon Jovi embroidered long sleeve and I just thought it was cute. Um, I feel like Bon Jovi is pretty topical currently because um, the actress Millie Bobby Brown from Stranger Things is engaged to his son or grandson or something. I don't know how old he is. Um, hopefully my husband's a little less loud now. I moved him so he's not talking directly at my door. But anyway, just cute. I don't think he's getting a lot of attention. Comps actually aren't that great on this piece as I thought they would be, but still pretty cute gra graphic-ish long sleeve. Then I picked up this universal thread size large kind of Hawaiian shirt. Universal thread is just Target. I do sell quite a bit of Target brands. Universal thread's really not my favorite. Um, I do prefer Wild Fable but this is linen which is really nice and I love the color and I love the pattern. It has like little birdies on it. It's cute and boxy and honestly if it doesn't sell I might just wear it. I don't think my photos came out great and I couldn't find a model photo for it. So we'll see. 
Then I got a couple, I don't know where the other one is right now, but I got a couple of these Dickies, um, just cropped hoodies. These were like the first things I got that day. This one's a medium, I believe. It's just a cute little casual, you know, hoodie. Nothing that I'm gonna get a lot for, but I think people still really like Dickies and I thought that that was cute. Here is a denim skirt from American Eagle. This is a size 10. This is their newer um, logo. They also have the dates on the inner material tag if it hasn't been cut out. So that's another way you could check to see, you know, when they're from. I actually thought these were paper bag shorts. <laughs> then I realized it's a skirt, but I do sell skirts. So that didn't really throw me. I think it's really cute. I like the model photo for it and it's perfect for the spring and summer. And then I picked up these 511 tactical men's pants. I do pretty well with the 511 tactical pants. Um, comes weren't like anything crazy on these. I think I might have them listed around 30, but they're a size 38, 30, and they're pretty easy to look up style information about. And they were in fantastic condition. I've pretty much decided I'm not picking up, um, like I wouldn't pick up these pants even if they had like somewhere because I just I don't want to have to worry about like stain treating them especially men's stuff it's already they're kind of finicky the male buyer so then I got a couple of these really cool like retro the Great Smoky Mountain or what this yeah the Great Smoky Mountains Tennessee like National Park crewnecks these are getting a lot of attention pretty much on every platform really cute I don't think they're actually vintage but I have no idea <laughs> Just as extra large, but really, really pretty color. Great graphic. People love stuff like that. And then I found another one in this color, different um, graphic, but still the Great Smoky Mountains. These would be cute if like a couple was going and they wanted to wear kind of like matching sweatshirts. They're both the same size, both size extra large. This also kind of falls along the same lines as those sweatshirts, but this is actually just H&M. I just was really obsessed with the graphic. This is so oversized. This is a size small, but it's pretty much just the same size as the extra large men's sweatshirts I just showed you. And I just thought it was cute. Nebraska. <laughs> Model photo for it's also really cute. Um, I'm not gonna get much for it. I do really poorly with H&M, but if I really like the piece, I just have a hard time letting it go to the landfill. Here's an Abercrombie & Fitch soft a &F collection, which I've picked up a couple of their soft collection t-shirts last time I was at the bins. This says Montauk Sports. Don't know where that is. Don't know what that is. Sounds very um, like a Vineyard Vines. -y. Vineyard Vines, Martha's Vineyard. I get those two things confused. But I liked it, Am Abercrombie & Fitch. <laughs> really talk. Amber Crombie and Fitch is doing really well for me right now, especially their newer things. Um, so if I see them at the bins, I'll definitely pick it up. Here's a really cute Princess Polly dress. This is a size four and it's this white wrap dress. I love finding Princess Polly at the bins because I don't really get to sell it very often. Um, and their stuff is really cute and trendy and can get you a good amount. So I was happy with this. Also that it's white and I think it had one stain on it, but luckily it came out. So I was super happy about that. <laughs> and I actually picked up a couple of American Eagle mom jeans. This is one of them. Um, you can't really see it, but it says American Eagle stretch, especially with their newer um, jeans. The name of the jean should be embroidered on the waistband. This says curvy mom jean. And these are in a 20 short, so a great size and in great condition. I do really well with plus size jeans that are either in a short or a tall. Um, those actually do the best for me. I think they're kind of just like hard to find. So people do like to buy them secondhand. Here's another brand I literally never pick up, but I did um, these Forever 21 olive colored wide leg pants. I got them because they were cute, very trendy. Um, great for like a holiday. They are cropped and I think a size medium with the stretchy waistband. So yeah. those I liked the style of. I'm not sure if those are getting any attention. Hopefully they are. This dress is, this is a New Day also Target size extra large. 
I was actually gonna try it on and see if I want to wear it to a wedding I'm going to this summer, but it looked absolutely horrendous on me. I always try it like these cutesy dress styles like on me and then I just absolutely hate them. But I like the model photo and I think this would look really nice on somebody else. Puffy sleeves, floral print, great color. Great condition, honestly. It feels like new. I don't think the person who bought it even really wore it. This is a Beyond Yoga Infinity Scarf. There's the brand. There's the logo. Usually a really good pickup, this brand, especially at the bins. But I noticed after I brought it home that down here it actually says Fab Fit Fun. It's probably not going to focus on it, but it says Fab Fit Fun down here. And Fab Fit Fun is actually like, um, what would you call it? <laughs> this box you buy and like four times a year you get like stuff like this in the mail. They'll do collabs um, with like good brands and make like unique pieces for just people that buy the boxes. So in a sense, <laughs> they're harder to come by because you can't just like go to the website and buy it. But also these are gonna be really flooded on the market because a lot of people get those boxes and don't really want all the items in it. Um, and sometimes you don't really get to choose. So <laughs> I was a little disappointed by that, but I still have it listed. It's a really cute scarf. It actually has a zip pocket for like your phone. So I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, so my phone actually had stopped filming because it was full and I didn't have time to finish filming before my meeting thing. And at least now all the sounds <laughs> have stopped and hopefully I could just get through the rest of this video. Hopefully nothing got cut off um, that I was talking about. If it did, I'm sorry. But moving on, here's that other Dickies cute little cropped hoodie. This one has a bigger print. This one's a different size. That one was a medium. This one is a size small. I just thought it was a cute little graphic sweatshirt. I also really loved this like retro maxi skirt, which maxi skirts are pretty trendy right now. This is actually in a large tall and it has these pretty pleats. Great color. It's from Soft Surroundings, but I do think it's a bit older. Not quite sure. It is 100% polyester and again, a large tall, which is great. Um, so definitely floor length. And yeah, retro, cute, 90s. These are a couple of things that um, have stains. These are not the stains, this is the stain. <laughs> spray that I'm trying to get the stains out with. Can't think of the name of it right now. But I got this cute little sweatshirt. Just thinking I'd buy it for myself. I didn't really think it was anything. Kind of has one of those generic um, brand tags for printed things. It's size extra large. Pretty color. Cute little smiley face. And then it says the Little Puffy Club. And after a little bit of research, this is like YouTuber influencer merch. And it can actually go for a decent amount. It's really expensive to begin with, and I don't think this style is for sale anymore. So I probably won't keep it. Probably will list it. Hopefully these stains come out. They're not that bad, but there's a lot of them, so hopefully they come out. And then my one pair of Lululemon that I found um, also has a stain I'm trying to stain treat. But Lululemon, these are those like fold down kind so then it also has it back here no size because there's no pockets and cropped so not like the best of the best but really cool color hopefully that stain comes out if not i'll probably sell it as is anyway then i actually found a couple of these aviva which that's their logo probably won't be able to see it very well kind of looks like a tesla logo um Aviva is Lululemon's kids brand that I don't think they make anymore. Um, but this is size eight. I've sold it before. It doesn't actually do as well as it sounds like it should, you know, being a Lululemon like sub brand. I just don't think athletic wear for children is like that necessary, I guess, or it doesn't need to be like fancy or anything. Um, but there's the logo a little bit better. These are reversible. Cute, I think these were a size. Eight. I did have to depill these, so I haven't listed them yet, but I probably will get them listed today. Then I got this linen top. This is a brand I don't really find that often, but it usually sells pretty well for me. It's UMG, size small. I think this kind of just sold on like online boutiques and stuff. 
But if I see it at the bins in good condition, I usually pick it up. So this day I actually had a cart, which was great. There was a cart there right when I got there. So I was actually really able to like take my time, not have to drag around a bunch of clothes, kind of like go off and get stuff and then come back and drop it off in my cart because everyone kind of just leaves their carts um, together by the back wall. So I feel like I got a lot more stuff that had less flaws. Um, nothing like outstanding, but it's still like a lot of like really good stuff, which I would take a day of really good stuff as much as I would take a day with like several like amazing things and then a bunch of stuff that I'm actually not that excited to sell, but I needed things to list. That makes sense. This is a rails top, extra small, really oversized, like tie dye ish print. Rails is so expensive to begin with, but I feel like the reselling market on it can be really hit or miss. So I'm not quite sure how that piece is gonna do. Here's a piece of AG, the Caden. What did I just say? A piece of? Here are a pair of AG, Adriana Goldschmied, um, the Caden white pants. I didn't really pick up a lot of AG, but I knew these were newer. They actually had a bunch of stains on them, but they all came out, which was fantastic. Um, and I shouldn't have picked them up to begin with because I don't do super well selling it, but I do think there's a market for it and I do think it could sell for a lot if like the right buyer <laughs> is looking for it. These are definitely a newer style. Originally they were like $198, I wanna say maybe more. Can't remember. The unfortunate thing is that they are quite cropped in the, in the model photo, it's really accented. So I don't know if that's gonna deter people, but I feel like people like, like cropped white pants for the spring and summer. Also sorry if all of a sudden it looks like I have like two black eyes, I must have been like rubbing my mascara everywhere. Sorry. Then I picked up this Texture and Thread, which is a Madewell line, um, and it's a 3X. It's just a white top, and I might not have picked it up if it was in any other size, but it is in a 3X and it's in great condition. I don't think I've had very good luck selling the Texture and Thread line by Madewell. I don't know if it's lower end or if it's just like something different that they do. Um, but yeah, just a cute, plain, white blouse. Love finding bigger sizes and things, so I have more range in my closet. And then here is another Aviva piece. This one says by Lululemon. I don't know if it's gonna focus. Um, these are a size 10 and they're actually Sherpa. So when I found these, they actually had this really gross stain, kind of like a grease stain. And I thought the drawstring was missing. So I shouldn't have picked them up, but I did. And luckily the stain came out really easily, which was great. And then when they came out of like the dryer, I noticed that the drawstring was actually just stuck in there and they're in perfect condition. <laughs> Again, I don't really know what these will get. The counts actually weren't that great on it, though I was really excited for them. They're so high quality. I did recently, like yesterday, <laughs> reopen my Kittizen account to try and sell some of these kids clothes that I've been sitting on for a while. So maybe they will do well on there. We will see. There was a pretty big selection of maternity stuff in one of the bins. So I did kind of poke around to see if there's any good brands. And these are a pair of Joe's jean shorts, maternity size 27. Good for the summer, you know, just a pair of shorts. I don't really like to pick up maternity stuff unless it's in a good brand. Like I've done well with Madewell maternity stuff. I've done well with Paige maternity stuff. By stuff, I mean pants. <laughs> so I thought I would take um, a chance with those. Then I got these Amber Crombie and Fitch boot cut jeans. These are in a size too short and this is definitely probably like an older label of theirs. Um, I guess they are kind of like a mid rise. But they are Abercrombie and Fitch and they are more of like a flare boot cut style, which is trendier now. So again, I thought I would try those out. And here is Shein. If you guys watch my channel, you know I occasionally pick up Shein if I like the piece. I don't want to see it all go to the landfill because people shouldn't even buy from them to begin with. <laughs> um, but people do and they just throw away all the stuff. So. I liked these pants for like a wide leg cow print pant, which I think are super cool. Um, one of these hems is pretty chewed up and dirty, but I couldn't really do anything about it. I tried. 
I'm not gonna try that hard because it is Shein and I don't know if I'm actually gonna get that much for them. But they are really cute and you know, this is all the way at the bottom of your pant. I don't think that that really matters. <laughs> Here's another Target piece. These are a new day. Again, these are a size 12. They are high rise, eyelet, um, like paper bag style short. Perfect for the spring and summer. Great size, great condition. Found the model photo, all good things. Um, yeah, I don't know, thought they were cute. I, again, I don't love a new day from Target selling their pieces. I usually don't pick them up, but if they're in good condition and like a pretty modern trendier style and a good size, then I probably will pick it up even if I'm not gonna make too much off of it. Um, this is the last Aviva piece I found. They're a pair of speed shorts from Aviva. It was funny because all these Aviva pieces were in different sizes. Like the one shorts were I think an eight and then the sweatpants were a 10 and these are a 12. <laughs> so maybe it's just from one girl that kind of grew out of everything, but just, you know, basic little shorts. This I only picked up because it was new with tags. It's Rami Brooke, and I don't think I've ever really sold this brand or heard too much about it. Um, size small, but it's a very interesting knit blouse with like this silver chain as like the neck. You'll probably see it better in the model photo, but it's kind of like um, crisscross in the front. Anyway, I got it because it was new with tags and its original price was $275 apparently. <laughs> so not gonna get $275, but if I can get a decent amount, I think I'd have it listed pretty high, then I'll be happy. I'm actually almost done, which is great. <laughs> um, Cause I still haven't really eaten yet today, which I need to get on that. Uh, then I found this Saturday Sunday, which is an anthropology brand. That's what the tag looks like. Size large. Just like a, I think it's called a tunic dress. Cute boho, mini length, cute like washed in color. The original price of this actually wasn't very expensive. I think it was like $88. So I'm not going to get too, too much for that. But I do love that specific sub brand of anthropology. Like Saturday Sunday does well. Like Moth, like I was talking about, does well. Um, so I do like to find it, especially at the bins. This is a pair of J. Jill Ponte bootcut pants. I was going back and forth on these because I think I have a couple of their Ponte pants and they don't really do super well, but these were bootcut. They're in a great size. Um, I have also recently started a listing on eBay again, and by recently I mean today. <laughs> um, so maybe I will cross list these on there. I'm not trying to open up a store on eBay again or have to pay for my listing. So I'm not listing too much stuff on there because um, I had a bad experience with them and I'm still mad at them. But hopefully these will sell. They're like a really nice basic pant and I do, J. Jill is kind of hit or miss for me, but I do pick it up a lot at the bins. Here's that other pair of American Eagle mom jeans. These are size 10. These have a little bit more wear to them, but they're in blue, which is a much better color than the black. And mom jeans, I think, are still pretty trendy. And people love American Eagle denim, mostly because they usually know what their size is in that brand. Then I got these We The Free, which is free people, skinny plaid pants. <laughs> I thought these were quite cute. I really like the model photo and they are getting attention, which is interesting because they are like a skinny pant, um, but very like punk, stretchy, Cute, they're size 25, so they are pretty teeny tiny. But I actually haven't been doing too bad selling really small sizes recently, which is great. Here is a J. Crew organic slub in a size small. I think it's called like the 90 style or something. I just thought it was cute. If it was my size, I would have just kept it. I love this kind of cut of tank top. And I think this is relatively new. Yeah, it's from spring 2022. Not gonna get me much, but it is cute and it's new and it's J. Crew. All right, two more pieces, neither of which are too exciting. But I got this Zara knit sweater. I think it might be a wool blend. It's a size small and it's absolutely massive, but really cute turtleneck with these cute little striped details at the bottom. I don't think this is gonna be a quick sale by any means. It'll probably not sell until the end of summer, fall, winter time. Um, but really cute, really comfy. 
and I do love to have Zara's like more substantial pieces in my closet. And then the last piece I have to share with you guys today, I believe, I'm looking around to see if I missed anything, um, is this Beta Brand size large fish print top. I actually do, I feel like a lot better with be Beta Brand, Beta Brand, I don't know how you pronounce it, with their pieces that aren't those pants that everyone tries to find to resell. I have two of those pants that I've had for quite a while now and I don't think they get any attention. Granted, they are like a medium short petite or something like that, so not a great size. Um, but I've sold like this weird sweatshirt from them in the past. I think I sold another top from them maybe, or a pair of jeans, I'm not sure. But this is getting a lot of attention. It's so cute. It'd be great for the 4th of July for somebody who's spending it by the beach. You know, my mom would probably love this shirt. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty long and oversized. And yeah. That was my haul. <laughs> so again, I spent just over $80, um, about 60 pieces, $1.43 a piece. I'm not sure if I made my money back already from those listings that I mentioned have sold, but I might have. So that's also great. And yeah, so this video isn't any longer. Please let me know what you guys thought about this video, how your sourcing and selling is going and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye. Bye.